Welcome back to Combat Mission Shock Force 2. Okay, here we go with turn 7. I'm assaulting this house here and moving up next to this wall here. I think those Bradleys shot tow missiles while they had move orders. I've never seen that before. Oh! Uh-oh. What the... <laughs> I forgot to reverse them. That is really frustrating. I'm not happy right now. So, the Bradleys didn't fire tow missiles with a move order still intact. Oh, so stupid of me. That mortar team is shooting some smoke rounds. I also got a sound contact from Objective Charlie shooting at the infantry in the middle crossing the road. I guess they didn't pop smoke and reverse out of danger, that's for sure. The mortar smoke was mostly on target and I'm hoping it will cut off the right half of those alpha buildings, which will allow the breach team to get to the first house. Not a great plan, but assaulting building complexes is tough. Orders for turn 8. Two teams will be firing through the wall gap at the front building in Alpha, while a fire team blasts the wall and moves next to the first building. The remainder of Lenny's platoon will be stationary, watching for contacts. Except for this fire team, which will finish moving to the second ridge. My one remaining Bradley... It hurts to say that. Anyways, this remaining Bradley will target the sound contact and the 50 cal striker will shoot through the wall gap into Alpha. Meanwhile, Lieutenant Whiskey's platoon will continue to hide for at least one more minute. I also did consider for a while whether to try to take out that ATGM in the back. Ultimately, I decided that I'm better off just hiding behind the berm since I don't really have a great way to take it out anyway. If I did try to target it with a Bradley, I have to worry about other ATGMs that I know Hapless has. The strikers aren't accurate enough at that distance, and I don't really want to use my mortar ammo for the ATGM that far away. I don't think it will be very effective use of that ammo. 